Hello, and welcome to Planetas and Courses. I'm James Dunsmore, and this is the first chapter of Intermediate SketchUp for Planners, Part 3. In this chapter, I'll provide a brief overview of the course, discuss what you'll learn, and why you might consider taking the course. In this course, I'll show you how to use SketchUp in concert with Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign to create engaging and informative photo simulations, perspective views, sections, and site plans. In the next two chapters, I'll demonstrate how to take images up from a SketchUp model and overlay them on a photograph of the site's existing conditions using Photoshop to create a photo simulation of how proposed changes illustrated in the model will look in context. I'll also show you how to add elements such as trees, building facades, vehicles, and people, also known as entourage, to an image of your SketchUp model to bring the scene to life and to illustrate the feel of a proposed development. In Chapter 4, I'll show you how to create a section view of a SketchUp model, and then, using Adobe Illustrator, I'll show you how you can edit the section to create an illustrative um, cutaway of a building like this. In Chapter 5, I'll teach you my simple techniques for creating an illustrative site plan using a uh, from a SketchUp model using Photoshop with just a few easy steps, so you can take your model from this to this. Finally, in Chapter 6, I'll show you how to put the finishing touches on your photo sim, perspective view, section, or site plan using Adobe Illustrator. Throughout the course, I'll be using the free version of SketchUp 8, which you'll see on screen. I'll also be using Adobe Creative Suite 6. This course is met for users with basic familiarity with the software. As in the other intermediate level SketchUp for Planners courses, um, if you haven't used the programs before, you should consider taking the introductory SketchUp for Planners course first, as well as the Photoshop and Illustrator courses if you're not familiar with those programs. While this is the third intermediate course in the SketchUp for Planners series, all three courses cover different material and you can take them in any order you like depending on what skills you want to learn first. If you're ready to go beyond the basic functions of SketchUp to create high-quality, professional-grade images like this, then I hope you'll join me in the next chapter. Thank you.